Welcome to Everything Elliot, where I give everything a try. And while you're here, don't forget to check out some of my other videos. What's up, guys? Today, I'm going to do a video that uh, is probably going to be pretty controversial. There's going to be people that say, Elliot, you're wrong. And what I'm going to say to them is, well, this is just my opinion. Today, I'm going to show you what I consider to be the best limbing saw on the market. And it's, let's see here. And it's right there. It's in that case. Let's open it up, find out what's in there. You must be giddy with excitement to find out what I'm hiding in here. The Poland 2000. Now you might say, Elliot, it's not a still. It's not a Husqvarna. Why would you consider a Poland to be the best limbing saw on the market? Well, I'll tell you why. The reason that I believe it to be the best limbing saw on the market is because they're basically throwaway saws. Homeowners buy them at Home Depot, Tractor Supply, I don't know, Walmart, wherever you get cheap saws from. And then once the saw stops running, they're a homeowner. They only paid 70 bucks for it. They just throw it out. You can get these saws for virtually free. I have that one over there, came with the case. I think that's a, maybe an eight or 10 inch bar on it. And it also came with a 16 inch bar. And then I also have two more of them over here. People just love throwing these things away and they're absolute rippers. Usually they just need some carb adjustment or a carb cleaning. The one of them I got, I think it was actually this one right here. I got this one. You guys said it didn't run. Didn't run. It just needed a fuel line. I mean, it's literally that simple. I bought a new chain for it and uh, I love using it. It's an absolute ripper and it just runs great. So I got some, uh, I got some limbs that fell down out of a tree from our last windstorm. They're over there. So we're gonna put it to use and I'm gonna show you guys how well this thing works for, for free basically. You can get them anywhere. Side of the road, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace. People are selling them for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. They don't run, clean the carb. All right, let's get some gear on and uh, run the saw. So like I was saying, uh, you can get these for basically free. And if you can, why not run it? All the parts are interchangeable. You don't have to go to the store to buy a new one. You, you need a $30 part at the store. You could just buy a whole nother saw for 10 bucks. Get that part off there. That's why I think these are the best limbing saws on the market. If you think I'm wrong, go on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or something like that and just look for a pole and chainsaw. They give them away. Now this one is a little old, so it is a little loud. Um, but that's why we wear hearing protection. So I'll give you guys a demonstration of what this thing can do. Probably should have checked for fuel before I start of this. It's got some fuel in it. I know what's happening. Since I only have a little fuel in it, when I tilt it over, the fuel pickup is going dry. So I guess I will go fill it up with fuel. I guess I should have did that first. All right, well, now that we got fuel in it, now let's show you what it does.
It does not like to get bound up, but it is a little saw, so once it gets bound up, it usually dies out pretty quick. That'll happen with any, uh, that'll happen with any small CC saw you're using. Man, it is starting to get warm out here. Whew. I was not ready for summer. There it is, the Polin 2000. Throw it around, do whatever you want with it. They're so cheap, you could throw it in the pond and not care. Don't do that. You'll have the environmental agency on you if you do that. Well, it's all I needed to do. Leave a comment below. If you disagree with me, I mean, yeah, you can go buy a $300, no, limbing saws, yeah, a nice still limbing saw, probably be 300 bucks, two, 300 bucks, but for the free saw, why would you not give it a try? Well, I'm going to get to cleaning up. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, and I'm sure... People are going to disagree with me, but go ahead, leave your disagreements below, leave a comment. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day.